All right, there it is in the uh, fermenter. Just got to cool a little bit more to where we can add the yeast to it. Have to also have to aerate it a little more. We'll do that as well. And uh, right now I'm just cooling it under the shade of this awning, and I will turn that fan right there on to blow against it to cool this thing off. We want to cool it down just as quick as we possibly can. And uh, we're almost ready to throw the yeast, pitch the yeast, and uh, put this baby to bed. Okay, <clears throat> according to the temperature reading, this should be where we can pitch our yeast now. Take the thermometer out. But before we pitch the yeast, we've got to uh, aerate the wart. I just took this out of a sterilization solution, some star sand. And uh, this is uh, welding oxygen. And we'll uh, just leave that go right there for a few minutes. As you can see, it's bubbling up pretty good. Let's get it down there on the bottom where to get all of it. Kind of work it around a little bit. I'm going to aerate it for a couple of minutes anyway, all the way around. We stirred up some of the trube that's fallen to the bottom now. Now, it'll go back down though. All right, <clears throat> okay, we have it aerated. And now we're going to pitch the yeast. And uh, got the yeast in a starter solution to build up the yeast and propagate it. Oh, that smells good. And we're just going to pour those right on in there. Just like that right there. Okay. <clears throat> and now, just to show you what it'll look like, <clears throat> go ahead and put our blow off cube on. And set that down in there. And it will stay just like that right now <clears throat> for about the next week and a half. And then we'll rack it out of this carboy into the keg for the secondary and it'll spend about a week inside the secondary and then go into the kegerator. And this, boys and girls, is how we make 41 North Pale Ale here at the Piney Woods Brewing Company. Y'all just need now to come by and drink some with us. <clears throat>